All right, we're putting two large chicken breasts in the bottom of our crock pot. We're gonna get our meat tenderizer and just hit this a few times. We're gonna get this chicken extra, extra tender. Gonna season generously with some salt. Of course, we gotta hit it with some fresh black pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. This is gonna be so good. You guys can use poultry seasoning if you have it. I just don't happen to have any. We're gonna use two cans of cream of chicken soup right on top. Extra, extra squishy. We get that stuff out of there. We're gonna do half a cup of milk right on top. And I'm just gonna use my little spurtle here to mix this up. Make sure we're getting all that extra cream of chicken soup out. Dump it right on top. Now we're gonna get our other can. We're gonna fill that about half a cup up with chicken broth. Pour it right on top. We've got half a chopped onion. We're gonna go right on top of that. You can skip that step if you don't like onions. I just love the flavor. We're gonna put an entire bag of frozen mixed veggies on top. This is the good stuff that's gonna give that chicken pot pie its distinct flavor and color. Now I'm gonna add two diced potatoes on top because I love potatoes in my pot pie. What about you guys? Do you like potatoes in your pot pie or not? My wife loves celery, so I'm gonna add celery just to her half there. I'm not gonna touch that half because I don't like celery. Just kidding, I'll muscle through it because I love my wife. We're just gonna give this a quick stir, make sure everything is mixed up. Now we're gonna cover, cook on low for three to four hours, come back, shred that chicken, and add a couple steps. All right, it's been four hours, and this smells amazing. We are going to shred up this chicken. I would use a hand mixer, but I don't wanna break up those veggies because I wanna keep those veggies whole. We're just gonna grab a chicken breast, put it in our chicken shredder, and we're just gonna put the lid on. And this chicken shredder is so convenient. It just shreds up that chicken in a few seconds. Look at that, you guys. Perfectly shredded chicken. We're gonna go ahead and dump that in. And we're gonna grab the other chicken breast, if we can find it in here. Look at that, you guys, hot and steaming. And we're just gonna give this a few turns. Guys, perfectly shredded chicken. We're gonna throw this back on top as well. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna grab my secret ingredient, sour cream. We're gonna put the equivalent of two dollops. Woo, maybe a little more. Bam, right there on top. Grab your spurtle. We're gonna mix all this around. This is so good, you guys. In just a few minutes, we're gonna have some delicious slow cooker chicken pot pie, but we are not done yet. We are gonna get some Grands biscuits. These are the buttermilk biscuits. You can use whatever kind of Grands you want. Bust it open, throw them on your sheet pan. Now we're gonna bake these according to package instructions. Cover this for another 20, 30 minutes. Come back and enjoy. All right, we let this simmer for a little while and it smells amazing. Our biscuits are done. They're perfectly golden brown. We're gonna go ahead and take one biscuit. We're gonna put it on our plate. This is gonna serve as the bottom crust for our chicken pot pie. We're gonna scoop out a healthy portion. Look at that, steaming and everything, and pour it directly on top of our biscuit. And look at that, you guys. Let's try it out. Gotta get a piece of that biscuit and enjoy. That is delicious.